Today, we are going to be reviewing this beautiful auto heat press made by HTV Rant. If you're new to my videos, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming craft tutorials. This auto heat press by HTV Rant was given to me in exchange for my honest review, and I am so excited to show you all that this amazing machine does. Before we get to the review and talking about how this machine works, I want to talk about price because I know for many that is the most important factor. So right now the HTV Rant Auto Press is on Kickstarter and it is at an amazing price of $169. And that price is only in effect until August 6th of 2022. So if you're watching this video before that date, make sure to jump in on that amazing price. Now, once it is fully funded, this machine is still an awesome price at only $279. And I will have all the links to purchase this machine in the description of this video below. So make sure to check those out. Now we are going to be doing two different projects with this machine today, but before we make the projects, I just wanted to give you the breakdown of how everything works. Now for starters, I got the auto press in this beautiful mint color, which is absolutely beautiful. It is also available in white, if you would prefer. The cord is a three prong cord. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. This blinking button here is the power button. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that and turn it on. And then to change the temperature, I would press this temperature key or button and then go up. And it goes up and down in increments of five. And with the second key, same thing. I can press that and change the seconds and I can either do one at a time or if I hold it down, it goes in fives. So I can set that to whatever temperature and time that I need. Now, a really cool feature with this auto press is that it has some preset settings in there. So if I hit this button right here, you can see I've got one and it takes it to 300 degrees for 15 seconds and that's for heat transfer vinyl. If I hit it again, it takes it to two. That's 320 for 15 seconds and that's glitter heat transfer vinyl. And then if I hit it again, it takes it to 330 and 20 seconds and that's for the dark fabrics transfer paper. And number four is 390 for 40 seconds, and that is for sublimation. So I love that it already has these presets in there that you can just go to really quickly. Now I would recommend still checking with the product that you're using, making sure that it aligns that temperature and that uh, time aligns with what the product is saying you need but it's still really handy and I love that. Another great feature is this automatic. And if you have that on, you'll see the A there on the digital screen. And what that is, is if you pull this out and push it back in all the way, it will automatically, the timer will start and it will automatically start applying that heat and pressure and you don't have to hit start or anything like that. So I love that. Now, if I wanted to stop like I do, I can just hit that R button and it lifts it. So really the only thing that's not automatic is having to pull out this little drawer. And that's so easy. See, I pushed it in and it wanted to go again. So I love how simple that is and how it starts automatically for you. Now, if you do want to turn off that automatic, just turn it off and then you'll see when you put that in and out, it doesn't close or uh, open. And then to start it, you would hit that R button. Okay, so super simple. Now here, the center button, this is so you can keep your own presets. It has two different presets, an A and a B. So if there are, if there's a temperature setting that you use consistently that's not already set in there, you can set it yourself. 
Another great feature of this machine is the auto pressure. You can put in a project up to an inch thick in here and it will automatically detect the amount of pressure needed to apply it to that project. So that is actually what I'm going to show you today with my two projects. We are going to be sublimating on two different thicknesses. For our first project, we are going to sublimate on some magnets. And I got these cute little magnetic canvas rectangles at my craft store. They're one and three quarters inch by two and three quarters inch. So there's canvas on the front and magnets on the back. So we're gonna go ahead and open these. They are each individually wrapped. So I've got my craft knife here and we're just gonna open those. Here are the magnets unwrapped. Now, as you know, for sublimation, you need to have a polyester coating. Canvas is cotton, so we need to put a coating on these magnets for the sublimation ink to attach. So what we're going to use is some laminate sheets. I've got half of a laminate sheet right here, and we are going to use this on our magnets. So first we have to apply this, and actually I'm just gonna cut this into like little rectangles. Make sure that they're the right size. We can get two on that one. And then we'll want to make sure on to the laminate sheet, there's a smooth side and a side where that glue is to make it stick once you apply the heat and pressure. So you want to make sure that that glue side is on the canvas side of the magnet. Now we're gonna come back to our HTV Ron Auto Heat Press and we want to make sure that we are on setting four and that will give us the correct temperature and pressing time. All right, we are ready to go. Our light is green saying that we are to temperature. So I'm gonna pull out the drawer. I'm gonna lay a piece of paper down. Now with this press, the heating element is on the top. So I'm gonna place those up. I'm gonna add another piece of paper on. Now you can see I have the automatic turned off. So I'm gonna hit the R. Now I only need this to go for about 20 seconds. So if I wanted to, I could have changed the time, but for this one project or this one part of the project, it's easier just to watch the timer. So I'm just gonna watch that till it gets down to 20. And we are good, timer automatically resets. So I can open that up and those are stuck on there good. I brought in my self-healing mat and I've got my or my magnets and I am just gonna cut them apart to begin with. And now I'm just gonna go around that magnet with my craft knife and remove that extra laminating sheet. Now all of my magnets have that shiny coat on them from the laminating sheet. I'm gonna bring in my sublimation print and you'll notice that my designs are mirrored. You need to make sure that they are mirrored. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these apart. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I've got some heat resistant tape here. And we're going to take one of our printed designs and a magnet and then line it up. That looks good. So I'm going to tape that in place. Now we're ready to press our sublimation design. I'm going to change that to auto. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to put a sheet down. And again, we're going to put those up because the heat element is at the top of the press. And then I'm going to use two sheets of copy paper on the top to protect my press from any ink leakage. So we're gonna go ahead and push that in. 
and press it this time for the full 40 seconds. And you'll see I didn't need to do anything with my heat press for those thin magnets. It just automatically detected the, the thickness of them and went ahead and pressed them. I did put on a heat resistant glove, not because the handle's hot, but because this is going to be hot. All right, I've let our magnets cool a little bit. And now I just have to peel them off. And we've got, did I just roll my eyes out loud? I love everybody. Some I love to be around, some I love to avoid. <laughs> Always hungry and just breathe. Aren't those cute magnets? And look at how thin they are. And they worked great. This time we are going to apply a sublimation design to this 12 inch round canvas. And you can see that it definitely has some dimension to it. In fact, let me grab a ruler and we can see that it is almost three quarters of an inch thick. So we are going to sublimate on this. Now with a canvas, you need to make sure that you have a firm surface to press against. Otherwise it might not press evenly. So to do that, I happen to have some wood rounds that fit right in there. So when I press, I'm going to press with these in there. And then that gives the press something nice and firm to press against over the entire canvas. If you wanted to, you could take out the staples and then just press the, the canvas flat. But I'm showing you how it can do different thicknesses. So I've got these circle inserts in there that will work as well. We're going to start with our laminating sleeves here and I'm just going to tear that apart. And we're going to have to do a little bit of piecing. I'm going to secure it all in place with a little piece of heat tape. I'm going to open the drawer and I am going to use a larger sheet of butcher paper since I'm making a larger project. I'm going to place my canvas there on that tray. Now you'll notice I did trim the excess laminating sheet around. And I'm going to add another butcher paper sheet. I haven't changed any of my settings. So you can see when I shut my drawer, it can just automatically sense the thickness of my canvas. And my laminate sheet is stuck to my canvas. Here is our canvas with the laminate sheet on it. So we're gonna turn it over and now we need to trim off that extra laminate. So I've got my craft knife and I'm just gonna go all the way around. I'm going to pull in my sublimation print. Now, since we are dealing with a 12 by 12 canvas, when I printed, I had to tile and then piece the, the tiles together, making sure not to put paint where there is a sublimation design. I'm gonna put that down. And then we're just going to place our circle canvas over that design. That looks good. To secure in place, I'm gonna take some heat resistant tape and I'm just securing that print to my canvas. We're ready to press, so I'm gonna pull that drawer out and put my butcher paper back into place. We want the design up because remember that's where the heat press is, is on the top. So I'm going to do two sheets this time on the top. Okay, put that in. Trying to make it so you can still see. Open that up. 
We're gonna bring in our canvas, and I love unwrapping the sublimation paper. It is my favorite part to get to unveil the project. Move that tape around the edges. And then, oh my goodness, you guys, look. Oh, I love it. It turned out so good. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. And bring in our magnets. And I just want to show you the difference in those thicknesses and how well it did for both of these thicknesses of projects. Now that we have finished our projects, I want to leave you with my review of the HTV Rant Auto Press. And I have to say, I am extremely impressed. I love the 15 by 15 size. It makes it so versatile. I can do onesies, t-shirts, hoodies, or even canvas prints like we did today. But my favorite feature of the heat press has to be the price point. I cannot believe that this heat press is only $279, especially when other comparable heat presses on the market are at a thousand or even more than a thousand dollars. This is such a great high quality heat press for only $279, and that is just amazing. So I give the HTV Rond Auto Press a 10 out of 10. I honestly cannot think of anything that they could have done better. I love the four presets for the different temperatures and times for the different materials. I love, love, love the auto feature. And overall, it's just a great high quality machine and I still cannot get over that 279 price point. It's amazing. I will leave a link to the HTV Rant Auto Press in the description of this video below. So make sure to check that out so you can get your own hands on this amazing machine. And make sure to visit my home base, thecraftyblogstalker.com, where I have a ton of free tutorials that I'd love to share with you. Thanks everybody. Bye and happy crafting.